I'm Gaming Finlay Suzanne Juan Pyramid, also known as Leonardo. I mean, Black Bible. <laughs> I'm here with Chris, Director of Marketing for the Ninja Turtles line. Yo, uh, uh, just take a second look. Just look, just look, kind of peep the background going on. If you grew up off of the 80s Ninja Turtles, you know, uh, it, for a guy like me, uh, this, this is heaven. So Chris is going to break down the new age Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles for you and what they have as far as the toy line. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, Nickelodeon has done a great job bringing new animation and new content out uh, for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, the show is a top-rated show uh, across for boys, and uh, we're really excited to bring new toys out into the market. And, uh, you know, mar uh, so, some of the stuff came out already in last fall and was completely phenomenal. And uh, we're expanding now for Spring 13 uh, that is coming out in the next couple weeks. And then also uh, we have a whole new line coming out for Fall 13 as well. All right. See, you know, what's really cool about your toys, uh, you know, is the fact that these, they have a certain older look. Like, they, they look kind of like the classics, but modernized and more detailed. I mean, uh, I'm feeling the design. You have to tell us a little bit more about this and, you know, what you have coming out. Because I know you release, uh, you know, the Four Turtles, plus you have uh, Strutter and uh, Craig and Wells. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I mean, definitely, I think when, when it comes down to some of the figures and action figures, um, you know, we definitely wanted to make them heroic uh, and stylize that, you know, something that kids fit in a nice young kid's uh, palm of their hands. Uh, we kind of call it this mutant mass. When you look at some of the other uh, basic figures for action figures, uh, the three and three quarter inch, you know, they're skinny, uh, the articulation is very hard to manipulate, so we wanted to, to make something a little bit more meatier, and, and obviously it lends itself to turtles because they have the shell and they are mutant and they have that mutant mass as well uh, so obviously we wanted to uh, play that up a little bit and I think it uh, worked out really well now I also noticed that you know with the new series they've been bringing back some of the classics so is it um, possible that we might see some of the classic things I mean uh, because we already see the turtle van I thought that was crazy that you're bringing back you know the turtle they brought back the turtle van and the way you guys designed this is so cool are there any other movable figures uh, that you know that you know relate to the classic as well as new uh, you know like vehicles yeah yeah uh, well Nickelodeon came up with the shell razor which is a kind of a throwback to the original party van uh, and obviously we, we came out with the uh, uh, the toy the shell razor uh, which uh, yesterday won uh, toy of the year for boys uh, which we're really excited about and uh, thank you and um, yeah so I, I think you know it's, it's really up to Nickelodeon of uh, what they put into the new animation that we can actually uh, do in terms of toys but obviously I think uh, the people that are working on Nickelodeon are original fans of the turtles so obviously it helps it lends itself to some of the throwbacks from uh, the original TV show and obviously the TV uh, the toy line as well um, so obviously it's uh, the properties in good hands and obviously uh, you know hopefully you guys continue to like the toys now speak of the throwbacks you also have the um, old school collection for guys like me um, going on right now and you're introducing two more of my favorite characters can you tell us yeah so for the classic collection we did the original four Ninja Turtles uh, with a super articulation they have more articulation than any turtle in the market that's been out there before for Playmates toys and uh, and we're extend expanding that with Bebop and Rocksteady that's based on the original uh, the original TV show as well. Come on, I know that gets you. Wait, yo, you hear Bebop and Rocksteady? When's the last time you had a Bebop and Rocksteady toy? I don't care how old you are. If you grew up off of old school Ninja Turtles, Bebop and Rocksteady is a must have. It doesn't matter the age, all right? <laughs> yeah, no, every, everyone's really excited. We're excited too to obviously bring it. And uh, obviously, if the demand continues to go well for the classic collection, we'll continue to bring more new characters out there as well and new themes uh, because the library for Turtles is so rich. So as far as the classic collection and the new collection, what's the price range? Uh, for the basic figures, the price range is uh, $7.99 to $8.99. And then for the classic collection, which are the six inch, a little bit taller, uh, those are about uh, $20 retail. Cool. Uh, and you understand, you guys, are, you you rock. Come on. Uh, we got to go on one more high five. Come on. Uh, see, that's how you do it. Yo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What, who's your favorite turtle? Uh, Michelangelo. See, that's a Mikey guy. <laughs> All right. Game of Nation. Peace.